was in Athens, Greece. But anyway, check this out. Is that a beautiful ocean or is that a beautiful ocean? Hey, keep in mind, I just came from the Nike store. Now, I went right to the, you know what, collection. Jumpman 23. Now, if you don't know who Jumpman 23 is, well, I guess you don't follow NBA. But anyway, I went to the Nike store and I, oh, of course, I had a Starbucks with my own brew coffee. And for some, for, for some strange reason, an imbecile left a pizza carton right on the gimbal's escalator stairs. So I happened to pick it up. And it came to mind. I went right in front of the MJ photo that they have on the fifth floor. MJ Floto dressed up as a rookie of the Bulls. So I said to myself, hmm, this come in mind. Oh, well, if you don't know about Sam Giancani, well, the pizza, you ever heard of the pizza connection? Well, let me get back to the point. Here we go. I said to myself, hey, wait a minute. Pizza, Starbucks, <laughs> is there drugs involved? So I just went right to the Jumpman 23 collection. And for some reason, a so-called quote-unquote employee of a quote-unquote, I believe it's Nike and Incorporated, asked me, do I need to have any assistance? I said, I'm sure. You ever heard of flight? And the woman said, excuse me? I said, have you ever heard of flight? Now remember, I'm in the Jumpman 23 collection. So she says, no. Hmm. My reply was, an educated consumer would be my best customer. So she had nothing to say. But before I informed her of that, I mentioned a particular word, methylene dioxymethylamphetamine. And obviously she didn't know what that was, but <laughs> put two and two together. Anyway, she did not know a flight. <laughs> Now, I'm in a, I'm in a, a Jumpman 23 collection, and she never heard of flight. Oh, well, it must, be, it must have been her first day on the job. But anyway, that's what happens when you get, uh, you know what, in certain positions. Hey, Trump, oh, you see that? Oh, you see that? Oh. Anyway, Trump, hurry up and get in the office. Because I truly do believe those 16,000 signatures of SNL are bogus. Matter of fact, I think it's 100,000 now. But anyway, who cares? SNL? Come on. I think Trump got more and more better things to do than to deal with SNL. Anyway, he did have the, you know what? You're fired. <laughs> hey, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Anyway, keep in mind that word, methylene dioxymethylamphetamine and also flight. Now, I do recall, I was at the airport, and an uh, individual who wasn't in position to ask me why I was rudely interrupted as I was talking to the you-know-who customer service information. Isn't there a book or restaurant in this facility? And the, ind the individual, now keep in mind, the individual who is not of any way, shape, or form To answer my question regarding to my personal well-being, even though he was present, well, I did say he, I think the lady was appropriate to answer it. So since it took her some time to answer it, I had to bring it to her attention, since I mentioned Buka Restaurant. Don't you know uh, that a tampering or messing with the flesh of God, that is food, the punishment is death, so see, she grabbed the book as I was about to open it up and she opened it up and kept it open. And I said, of course, you're messing around with the flesh of God, you're messing around with death. But anyway, she cracked a smile. And in the meantime, the individual who I wasn't talking to, keep in mind, I had to politically correct them. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> that remind me of when I was in Louisville, Kentucky. A Louisville, Kentucky police officer asked me, what was my business doing in Louisville? And you know exactly what I said. I made it clear, none of his business. Now, the ocean is a beautiful ocean, and I must go. Because you know who is coming up and trying to interrupt. But anyway, Sicily, Italy, 
I just sent you Nike by Twitter. And uh, Louis J. Free, if you don't know who Louis J. Free is, well, anyway. Like I said, before I was totally rudely interrupted, Louis J. Free, hey, matter of fact, remember that ocean? That's where Louis J. Free came off of, the Mayflower. Anyway, Louis J. Free, you should know of the Pizza Collection. If you don't, I'll refresh your memory. 